it is. Uh, you are joined here with Victor Garsley. I am the crow boy. I am Mr. Graves. And I am Frank and Jean. And you are joined here on Sin and Gin Podcast, the podcast where we play games, we tell facts, we do stories, and we have a really wholesome time together, enjoying each other's company as old friends. We, do. <laughs> we did. We were complimenting each other earlier, weren't we? Doing a little uh, compliment yeah. session. So we were, we were looking at each other's foreskins. Yeah, and uh, the, way, the way that m- m- Matt's multiple lights hit them. It's interesting, isn't it, how it gets a glisten in the, in like almost like it, like a little anime star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I see, I stretch mine out and I can see through it a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Like oh. the world's shittest window pane. <laughs> <laughs> For a bit of tracing. <laughs> uh, so, what's coming up? What's coming up? <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes, up on this sometimes, week's I just, sometimes I just slap my foreskin in glitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the hollow sound of it against um, a loved one's forehead. <laughs> Sometimes hollow I rip sound. mine off and uh, throw it down wells just to see how deep they are. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So on this week's podcast, <laughs> we have got Count Factula. I'm coming! Oh, God. Uh, Fuck Christ. off. Yeah. Oh, that's very rude Factula. of you. <laughs> I like you, Count Factula. All right, come back. You, We're sorry. Yeah, cheeky bastard. <laughs> uh, we've got Count Factula. We have... What's your... Go- Game called, do you know? Uh, name Craigslist like? Specialist. Craigslist oh, Specialist. Okay. We fun. have the glorious shit news and mm-hmm. we have the Blanco Matic. <laughs> um, so that's our usual thing that we do. The, that's okay. the same four things we always. Basically, if you, are, if you watch this or listen to this a lot, the same four things we always do. Yeah. And if you don't like that, well, just don't listen to Why are you still here? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. But there is. A uh, prize for getting to the end of each oh, podcast, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but we're not allowed to talk about the prize because not yet. That's, it happens at the end. Well, yeah, you yeah. Wait and it gets sent that. down the down the tubes. Uh, yeah, it's so, Dave's ripped off so <laughs> Keep listening to find out what prize you can win. Yeah, I've been throwing my penis <laughs> down the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Well, so what? So okay. So what's everyone been up to this week, Matt? What have you been up to? What's new? Um. Apart from foreskin glitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to sort out a remortgage. I don't know. Everyone wants oh, yeah, to hear about that. So we heard, we heard about the bath insurance. <laughs> and now it's remortgage, remortgage hell. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go yes. talk about Honestly, I've heard this no story. One, no one wants to hear about my remortgaging problem. Also, on the please, podcast. tell I heard me it, more. <laughs> I, I heard it twice. And then, me and, and then Dave wasn't listening. I even repeated the story to Dave. So. <laughs> Yeah. But at least you know all about EWS one forms. I do EWS and I, one forms. Uh, but I wish that I wish the hell I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, last weekend I um, had a wonderful time up in London. I went to um, Brewdog and I went to various restaurants nice. and pubs and uh, wore a mask every time I had to go up for a piss. Oh God, nice! Yeah. But it yeah, did, did the job. Well, yeah, and but it was it was fine. It wasn't. It was it was. It was. Do you it sometimes? Was. It was. <laughs> it existed. Was. When you take off your mask, do you sometimes feel like you're in an episode of ER and you're like George Clooney or, and you take it off and you're like, oh, that was a well, horror I, horror I, I Or do you want to deliver some bad news? I just yeah, want to deliver yeah, some yeah. bad news. I was news. just about to turn it. I was like, go into a random place, take it off and say, I'm really sorry, but it's terminal. <laughs> yeah, oh God. Terminal. <laughs> You've got terminal. You should go to airports. Stupidness. Go to airports. And just go to Heathrow and go, I'm really sorry, but I'm afraid it's... Uh, Terminal 5. <laughs> oh, not I, that didn't, one. I didn't want to like that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. uh, I didn't want to give you my last... What a twist, what a twist. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's what you've been up to. Um, oh, I ate, I had loads of chicken wings. Oh, oh so you should. Don't forget that. Sorry, Shakespeare, move over. We've got a new storyteller in town. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, no, and I played mini golf. Nice. Oh wow! Oh. Was that while <laughs> with chicken wings? wings? I played. Wow. I played mini golf with chicken okay, wings. Okay, well that's that's a, that's a different story because that's, oh, that's, that's quite challenging. That's quite challenging. Yeah, they had no, we wasn't allowed to have clubs because of the the incident, so we all had to use mini chicken wings. You had to use the bones of your chicken, chicken wings. wings. <laughs> Just throw chicken wings does in anyone, the hole. Does anyone remember a film called? This is really random tangent, but it was called Exorcist, and it had uh, a young chicken Jude Law. Chicken. No, but <laughs> there was a scene. There was a scene. It was really surreal film, and a scene where he eats a fish. <laughs> And makes a gun out of the bones and assassinates someone in a oh, restaurant. I can honestly really? say I have never seen. It's that. so fucking weird. And uh, honestly, what existence? 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 I don't know. It's got Jude Law in it. And it's so fucked it's up. A fish gun. Yeah. And, fish and, gun. and uh, uh, still to this day, I get nightmares. I watched this film when I was a teenager of this thing that gets plugged into your back. It's like a really fleshy plug that gets plugged into your Bi- spine. Oh yeah. Bony plug. Bony Beretta. And Fl- a flug. Bony Beretta. <laughs> 
a what? A pony uh, Beretta. Pony Beretta. <laughs> okay. That's the fish gun. Pony guns uh, are boats. So, 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 pony Beretta. Uh, Dave, what have you been up to? Uh, I've just been uh, living the life and applying for jobs. Oh, uh, yeah, right. you know, there's the final one of going for meetings at different places of establishment and then um, wanting wishing, to... Wishing you were dead. What? Yeah, literally, <laughs> legit, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Just wishing I could just... When they're there going, so what we do at this place, we do this, and in my head I'm going, oh, I just quite happily <laughs> slip my wrists on the sharpest thing in this room right well, now. You know? <laughs> welcome to the podcast where we talk about all the worst bits about being an adult. We're getting miserable. Which are all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Hear what I've done this what week. Have you done this? Yeah, so, done? so this week I bought a mattress top. <laughs> That's we're, not my really crap mattress. And it's really comfy. Well, um, But what... I, every week I, I do... I, try, I like to... You know me. I like to find the worst junk on the internet. Um... But one thing that struck me this week when I was I was doing my my bloggings and logins and Kenny logins um, and your, your um, Kenny G impressions. So you know OnlyFans, yeah. Mm-hmm. OnlyFans. If you don't know what OnlyFans is, it's uh, you're lying if you don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're lying or you're not telling us. I about think people know what OnlyFans are. Um, only fa- Elaborate. OnlyFans is is a is a platform where people sell pictures and movies, and it's like a subscription it's, service. It's become but, that. Never, you make your own porn. You make yeah, your own. There we go. Thanks. Yeah, Dave. you make your own porn. I was, <laughs> I was trying to be delicate. Make about your it. own porn, and, um, and people subscribe. To yeah, it. and that's really cool. And you know, people make a living out of it, and it's great if that's if that's what you want to do. But the one thing I, I really dislike about it is there's obviously there's the nudes, the what? boobies, the boobies yeah. and the vajayjays yeah, yeah. and the willies. Oh, but there's uh, when it's not quite nude, but it's like what would you call not quite nude but like suggestive like soft core PG-13 yeah but it's on OnlyFans PG-13 <laughs> on, on, <laughs> on OnlyFans it's called lewd and I really dis- you know when you're talking about mo- the word moist yeah. Yeah. I really dislike the word lewd it feels like it's Victorian like she's showing her here comes ankles. lady with her lewd <laughs> so lewd oh. I don't like if I want to be turned on I don't want to if I'm paying 20 quid a month yeah I don't want lewd <laughs> I don't want lewd lewd just sounds like it's a, like CD. It is yes. a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is there any other words that piss well, yeah. I mean, I, I always hated the word, um, I know it's like a new popular word, banter. I fucking oh, yeah. I, 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 I hate I'm it when a, posh people I'm used to work. I was a bit of banter, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down with the chaps on the yacht the other day having a good old banter. <laughs> yeah. I'm the Archbishop of Banterbury. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking wanker. Um, <laughs> like, like but that. instead of lewd, what, what would, should we get the OnlyFans men and women to replace it with? Um, Pood. Pood. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, I think. I think a better question is: if you had your own OnlyFans, what would you do your OnlyFans as? Oh, what would people find sexy that I do? Um, <laughs> does it have to be sexy? It doesn't have to be sexy. No, it doesn't have to be. It could be, it could be lewd. It's not sexy. Sex sells, my friend. Well, but well, it's lewd. L- lewd. Yeah. I would. Um. I would. I would dress as your favourite uh, entrees. Like I'd be like a nice roast beef. Yeah, or, as an entree. Yeah, just an, on, an okay. entree. Uh, nice roast beef is an entree. N- nice roast beef. I'd be um, like a, a Caesar salad. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, what you know, wh- whatever you want. So you're there. You as a human being is. Would you be like getting the? Sorry, would you be getting the plate ready and everything? Yeah, I'd be. And, I'd be sprinkling croutons on myself. I'd be getting some foliage. <laughs> Bit of gravy. I Bit of gravy. I think if I, I, was, I would do, I would, uh, I'd cook my gusto, uh, but with my bum showing. Oh, uh, nice. I'd do it in a sexy that voice. Would, that would. Yeah, a little sexy That's Mexican right. voice. Why Mexican? Why Mexican? <laughs> no, in fact, I would try and do the accent because of wherever the food is from. <laughs> oh, because... That's going to go south very quickly, isn't it? <laughs> what? And it's Gambalaya. Because <laughs> oh. if you haven't noticed, <laughs> porn gets really niche. And that's, I think that's the way to get into porn. So in your little OnlyFans... Which is what we're all trying to do. Yeah. yeah. In your OnlyFans, get really niche with it. Jack yeah. off at the same time. Gusto Gash. See, I, Gusto Gash. Have Matt, sex with someone while cooking the meal. See, I don't... Do Matt it. and Ash do Gusto Gash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm... So, match that gash. So, so, <laughs> Whoever's the uh, people that, that do gash. somebody feed Phil. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't feel like I would want to do anything... Or sex. I think I would like maybe do something like, I don't know pet uh, pet dogs you meet no, in the street re- recreate, <laughs> re- maybe recreate die hard scenes with like gerbils or some shit like oh. oh sexy gerbils you chuck yeah, a gerbil like, down in oh yes that a big building <laughs> or through like the airplane engine yeah that's it yeah you know wow. just like yippee ki and like make <laughs> gerbils walk over glass and shit um, so Ash what have you done yeah, this week, you done this week? <laughs> 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 the karma that comes along with uh, the idea of hurting gerbils now I am um, I fucked my ankle last week. 
Oh, oh wow! Yeah. How did you keep? The, did you, did did you, you put a did, hole in it? Yeah. Or? Oh, no, I, um, I did a cartwheel. <laughs> you did a cartwheel. I did a car Look wheel. at you. No, I did a car. Why were you doing a car wheel? wheel? No, You're a 33 year old let me, man. Let me, let, me, let me finish, okay? I One of my colleagues just randomly busted out a backflip like it was nothing. So I was like, I wonder if I can still do a car Busted wheel. out while doing a backflip? No, no, he just he just busted out a backflip. Anyway, so I tried a car wheel and I twinged it and it hurt, but I was okay. And then I fell down the curb on the way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so the car wheel had nothing to no, do No, the car wheel basically, I think. Made it so it gave way on the curb. So basically, you're an idiot. You're covering up. You're <laughs> I, I think you're covering up for the fact that you fell off the curb. One of the most basic human functions of walking, you failed at. Well, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> do, you, do you guys? The like, cartwheel was involved. Do you, have a, do you guys have a thing? I have a thing sometimes where like, I'm just walking along and my ankle just goes like wobbly, boop, and I'm boop, like, boop, boop. yeah, that's what happened to me. Oh, but the cartwheel was part of it. I did it when I was running. It makes it more interesting. I did it when I was running the park the other day, and I I, I fashioned it into a little cool sideways roll. In my head, it, in my head, it looked it cool. It, yeah, but, but to the people right. looking at me, walking their dogs, they were like, just what the did fuck a, "Why did that, that guy just do a roly poly in the middle?" Of the wall? It was kind of like I just imagine the announcer like take a roll. You know, like when, ah! you know, like when kids are learning to walk and they do that thing where they like fall on their bum and they kind of swing their legs around. It was kind of like that. Oh. It was it was sexy. I made it sexy. <laughs> I made Babies it sexy. and sexy. I, um, the the people watching. I main- it's on your yeah, OnlyFans. I, <laughs> yeah, I maintained eye contact with everyone around while I did it. <laughs> all, all 20 of them. Yeah, you wanted this. <laughs> Look at them in the eyes. Look at me. Are you enjoying this? So we've all had stellar weeks, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I bet you're, yeah I, bet mental. You're all, I bet you're all jealous of our tip-top flip-flop <laughs> weeks. The vice we live, eh? Yeah. What do yeah. you say? Life's a sorbet. Life's a sorbet. <laughs> Life's a sorbet. <laughs> everyone... Life's a sorbet. Is that like the follow up to Life is a Roller Coaster? It's, uh, life's, a, uh, yeah. life's a sorbet. You just got to eat it. <laughs> just got to eat it before it freezes your brain. <laughs> Nips off. Anyway, um, yeah. what's count, next? Count fact. Count do do a count fact. I'm coming. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm Marcus from Juicy Crew, and I've got something fucking great for you. It's a fist on a stick. It's fucking wicked. You can flop it around like you don't know what. You can put it in your bum. You can use it to mix up custard And we've got a new version that glows in the dark So you can chuck it in the room and play hide and seek with it You know, stuff like that You can even give it to your dog and use it as a I don't know, I don't Care, get a fist on a stick from Juicy Crew Bye I've got facts for you You've got facts for me Well here comes Count Factula To train you with his facts I am Count Factula. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. You're right, mate. Oh, oh. I feel like you're in pain. Oh, I'm having oh. a stroke. Did you stab your toe? Oh. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, Can you uh. smell burnt toast? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know, welcome to Count Factula, where we talk a load of facts that we literally, probably about 30 minutes ago, all researched. Didn't really dig too deep into it and made a big old fuck up of it, really. But um, yeah, we're going to tell you guys some facts, some amazing facts that you've never heard before. Um, and I think amazing, amazing facts, facts. incredible ones. So, <laughs> amazing. Incredible ones. so amazing. Um, They are amazing. You're so lucky, you lot. And I think uh, Mr. Joe. Yeah. Mr. Joe. Cool. Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe. Um, Mr. Joe. <laughs> I got a couple of bits from. Uh, oh, here we are. Uh, branch. No, I've got, I've got, I've got oh, one fact, but I want to cast your mind back to 1994 to start with. Oh, right, good year. Uh, does anyone remember a DOS or Amiga, <laughs> Amiga home computer game called Beneath the Still Sky? No. Mm. So <clears throat> it was a point and click cyberpunk adventure, and uh, those who know me, I, I love a bit of cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do remember this game. So it was a DOS. So it was a DOS game. Came on three floppy disks, I think. Uh, but basically, it was like dystopian. Uh, the world had gone to shit. Everyone, everywhere was at war. And uh, you basically played uh, this character who had been hiding from the big city and then he got caught and put in the city. And the citizens use something called a QDOS system, which is QDOS, in which bad and good things go against you on your record. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> if enough bad things go on, you get thrown in jail and that's you get points taken on and off. A bit similar to... You guys watch Black Mirror as well. I was going to well. say, it sounds like so a Black Mirror. So the episode, episode of the first episode of the third season was yeah. called Nosedive. And it was social media. It was a bit like Instagram style app. Mm. And like the higher Instagram your likes, likes, yeah, you got every action. Do you know that's already a, a factor in certain parts of China? Hey. Shout out Dave. Shout out Dave. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm not just saying things. Well, from, well. <laughs> there is an overarching link to this. So yeah, so in that, um, there was, you got points given to and from you based on social interactions. But do you know, Dave, obviously clearly you do, <laughs> know about the social credit system in China. What? Do you guys know about <laughs> No, I don't, I, I've I never heard of this. Uh, so, I mean, what once sounded like a dystopian nightmare fuel is becoming a real thing. Um, and they're trying to get it, uh, like Dave said, in some parts of China, this is very much active and they're trying to make it universal. So the target basically is you get a unified social credit code and an identity number that's linked to your permanent record. Um, and basically you get points taken. You start in some parts of China, you get start with a thousand points and you can get deductions for traffic violations, uh, Anti-social behaviour, whatever. You put yeah. points added on for giving to charity and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And essentially it means you get to skip lines at like hospitals and or you wait longer depending on your the score. Your score. Almost. You can also be blacklisted, which uh, <clears throat> takes away rights. You lose, you lose citizen rights. Mm -hmm. Like you can't take a loan out. Um, and that you can get blacklisted quite easily. But you can get an EWS1 form. Yeah. From <laughs> you can lose all your points or you can owe the government money is, is the mm. easiest way to get blacklisted. Yeah. So uh, there's a guy who talks about uh, censorship in China. His name is, oh, I'm not going to say this right, Lu Hu. Uh, he's been arrested and fined and blacklisted. He was on the, the you, you get your name on the list of dishonest persons. Right. Lists. Um, he's not even qualified to buy a plane ticket. So he can't even leave the country. Can't leave the country because he's on this blacklist. Damn. Uh, there's no file, police warrant, anything. They just cut you off. You're done. So yeah, so basically you have to pay your bill to the government to get off it. But yeah, certain other parts of China is this thing where you literally get stuff added and taken away and you can skip lines and mm. whatnot. Wow. Pretty scary shit. Yeah, that is. So scary. they're rolling, they want to roll it out. So every, everyone is basically tagged and numbered. It's the stuff of nightmares. Imagine if they tried to do it in America. Well, oh, the Karens God. would go explode. No, be <laughs> the Karens <laughs> would explode. I think everyone would explode. I mean, I, I, I don't like the sound of it. Really. No, no, no. Do you but, reckon you'd get instantly blacklisted? if your name was Karen <laughs> there was, yeah. I watched um, I can't remember what it was there was a show based around like the advancement of technology in China a while back mm. and um, they had this like um, a crossing kind of like a popular crossing and next to it they had a um, a billboard but the billboard was a digital one <laughs> <laughs> and uh, every I know he's laughing at and every um <laughs> Every uh, every time someone walked across the crossing, it's hard not to get. I don't know what's that. I, I don't even know. Dear, dear listeners, dear listeners, I um, I don't know what's going on. Basically, Matt, Matt gave Dave a look, and they both started laughing. And now we've got like this weird dead air situation where I'm just trying to talk Sorry. to fill the gap. <laughs> <laughs> What's the um, first rule of radio? Don't leave dead don't air. Don't leave dead air. We'll put music Sorry. in the background. Yeah. Um, basically, on. if someone Jay walks across this <laughs> crossing, <laughs> this, doesn't, this normally doesn't happen until the no. blank matic <laughs> If someone Jay walks on this crossing, yeah. we have CCTV cameras that monitor this crossing. If they jaywalk, stop it. I'm going to look over here. If they jaywalk, um, their face goes up on the billboard. And it's then left there for Fucking a week, hell. and it goes up there as a, like a name. Yeah, I read, and shame. I read that the, <laughs> there was there was citizen enforcement um, CCTV cam. I'm really trying so hard. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. This is this is derailing oh, I am quickly. So hot as well right now. I'm melting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, basically to sum that all up, dystopian nightmare coming true in China. <laughs> And everywhere. And everywhere right. else I don't it. think we should pick Matt for the next fact. Uh, Maybe Are you going to do someone else's fact or are you going to just hog it and go to the next thing? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and that's it. So we're, we're done now. Done. Bye, everyone. We're done. Only because I did that twice, yeah. Right. Uh, I think Ash should go next because yeah. Matt's in no state to talk. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Well, mine stems from um, something that I saw a little while ago from uh, a, a an article from 1980. Oh, yeah. And it was about... Nurses and doctors betting on how long people would live in Las Vegas hospitals. Oh, Christ. Whoa. <laughs> now, I couldn't find definitive evidence to whether this was true or not because it says it was fabricated by the news. But they were saying that nurses actually killed patients to win bets. 
Oh, oh okay. yeah. So it's in America, yeah. Because, yeah, in America, Las Vegas, this is America. Las Vegas of all places. But because up. I couldn't find definitive evidence, I didn't want to say this. So I looked into it a bit more and actually found out that apparently this is actually an industry in Taiwan. At least it was in 2013. A 20 million pound industry of everyday people betting on terminal patients and whether oh. they would die and when they would die. Um, and this would include the doctors and nurses as well. So what do you call the back and lay? <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead and but, but not dead. I have no idea. But to put it into perspective, they have, I think it was, they said 60 so-called senior citizens club posing as charitable organisations for the elderly. Who makes the odds? Who makes the odds? Ground. I have no idea. I don't <laughs> quite know. But they were posing as charitable room, room organizations, but they're actually underground room 39, gambling yeah. rings. They're actually, yeah. yeah, they're actually underground gambling rings. And this is down to, I think, the very strict rules in gambling in Taiwan as it is. I think it, I, I think it's China-based. So, it's very so Taiwan is so starved of gambling that they literally... They have made gambling out of something. Fuck, yeah. that's grim. Yeah, and they were saying like up to 20, I think it's a 20 million pound industry. And they were saying... Really laying into the, Asia the, today. The highest pot, yeah, no, the highest pot that is reported to have run from more than one million pounds. Wow. Fucking hell. Stub toe. What'd you get? What'd you give me for a stub toe? <laughs> when when do you think you're gonna die and of what? Hopefully tomorrow. Of anything. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> We're unified. Guys, right here on air, should we make a suicide pact? I'm in. <laughs> Can we already make one? Very, um, what do you think I put in your drinks? Your oh. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. Don't drink the uh, I don't know. Um like yeah, yeah, maybe fifteen? Right. Although 50, 50. No, like Although 50 is kind of sexy now, so maybe 55. I'd go for 60. <laughs> I think 60 is like, so like, I'm, I'm 30 right now, so like, that's double. I think that's enough. I'd like to die, <laughs> I'd like to die at 40, good innings. Good innings, yeah. Well, there's seven years. Because yeah. then people can go, he died I'm so young. Not, yeah. He died yeah. so young and so lovely. And, and Even if he rock wasn't. and roll. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This feels like it could get bordering on offensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Let's move on. So next fact. Uh, Dave. Dave, I'll do what you All right. Uh, my fact is, for maximum effect, drink your morning coffee at 9.30 a.m. Cool, next That's fact. Is next that... fact. <laughs> Dave, no, is, this, is this to do with poo? No. About bowel movements? Yeah, why? No, it's um, basically when you first wake up, your body produces a stress hormone called cortisol. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I don't know too well. And, um, <laughs> or, and it's basically your body naturally produces it in a way of like building up your adrenaline and get yourself awake in the morning. So if you have caffeine at the same time, your body will... Um, won't react to it as quickly as you would if you left it in like an hour or so after waking up for the mm-hmm. cortisol in your body to naturally kind of diffuse and relax off. So they basically say that if you wake up at eight o'clock in the morning, you should give it like an hour, an hour and a half before you have your first cup of coffee mm-hmm. and you'll reap the benefits of, benefits of the coffee more than you would if you woke up, went for your morning piss, shit, whatever you do, and then had a coffee straight away. You won't feel it as much as if you waited an hour and a half. Because oh, you can a monster. Or a can of monster in the morning. Would do you it? really have a can of monster in the morning? I've seen him do it. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, would, it, would, it, would it be strange if I told you that I could count the number of coffees I had in my life on one hand? Oh, no, no. that's the same as me, mate. Yeah, I don't. Really? I don't, I don't hot drinks. Could, I don't, don't ever like hot drinks, have you? Yeah. I've, I've, yeah. I've, never, I've never had a cup of coffee. I don't really like tea either. Am I even no, British? I but we're part of the tea boys. But, um, no, the, the, uh, there's, only the, there's, only that, there's only that one story of you having a cup of tea was when we was playing with Amen and you got asked if you wanted to do a line of cocaine. <laughs> Oh, and you went for a and cup then, of tea. And, and, you, and, you, tea yeah. and you was like, oh, no, thanks. I've got a cup of tea. Because that was rock and roll, baby. Uh, yeah, I, did, I, did, I went for a phase of drinking tea back then. No, I remember that. And then, yeah. And they gave you the shit. Oh, uh, your bathing does. Yeah. 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 I'm one shit boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. I mean, that's... That's the, I mean, informative. The other, the other, That's probably the most useful fact for people listening. I mean, the other thing I found is it takes five to six hours for caffeine to leave your body, which I was quite surprised oh, about. Shit. So you should always give it that amount of time before you go to bed. That's six hours. Oh, there's no way any of us do that. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, fucking no, hell. No, um, no, Matt, assumption. yes. Are you recovered? Yeah, I'm recovered. Sure. I can do my facts. <laughs> yeah. right. well um, there is a giant pink rabbit <laughs> in Italy. Tell you, it's that stop. Can, that, stop there. <laughs> that can be seen from space. No, it can't. Wait, what? <laughs> like the Great Wall of China? <laughs> yeah, it's 200 feet. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Long. Um, so... <laughs> Sorry, we so, just we just all saw it on his like on his tablet. Like so it looks like the giant's lost its toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, on the hills of the five thousand uh, foot high Coletto Fava Mountain Father. in northern Italy. Northern Father. Italy's 
Piedmont region, Father, there lies an enormous pink bunny. <laughs> the toy lies on its back with arms open to the skies from where it appears to have fallen. Father. Um, <laughs> and basically... Father, my bunny. Uh, the bunny, my bunny appeared on the hills in 2005 and was originally bright pink. Now it's turned sorry, mur- it, sorry, it appeared on the hills. <laughs> I don't, no, it, no, <laughs> it, now it's turned murky grey and is slowly rotting back into the earth. Oh, the bunny oh, is expected to entirely disappear naturally by 2025. The circle of life. Oh. Uh, there are no plans to move it or save it. Oh, um, it. So, oh it is rotting, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so if you if you Google it, it's absolutely disgusting. A group of artists called uh, Gelatin have knitted a huge uh, pink rabbit and left it lying on a hill in Italy. Oh, oh my! Sorry, um, did you say knitted? Look at the little pink blob there. Yeah, I know. And it's absolutely disgusting. But you can see it's grey and rotting, and people are climbing on it. Um, a group of art- uh, yeah, the bunny is so big that it can even be seen using satellite photos from space. That's crazy. Um, it yeah. took the artists and lots of helpers five years to knit the massive bunny, Yikes. and they plan to leave it on the hillside for 20 years. Oh, bless. Um, so, yeah, if you look, there's all pictures of it, like, in snow, and it's... I bet it stinks as well. Cool. Um, with any of these things, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, that, I mean, there is... I think it's just a... It was just literally an art project. Yeah. There's what? nothing... That's interesting, but... But it is literally just rotting. Um, Aren't we all? Yeah, so, yeah, Google, you know, <laughs> so if you Google um, oh, uh, uh, large pink rabbit. Um, you get a lot of dildos. <laughs> yeah. But what, yeah. what I understand is one of those people turned around and said, you know what we should do? That's what I don't understand. Do you know what Italy you know, needs? A fucking massive rabbit. Like face as well. Yeah, do you know like, what these like Oh my God, it looks like it's in perpetual... Like, but it's because like, this got, obviously got dropped from a great height, Joe. <laughs> like, is that the rabbit that used to belong to the guy from the scream painting? <laughs> yeah. Did it hurt? Uh, so yeah, it's not that's, that's him in cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a furry. <laughs> well, we've all learned something today. Yeah, we are. Uh, cool. So, um, let's do your game. Let's we'll do, do my game. game. Sure. Uh, but next segment. <laughs> Insert next segment. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to say something. Dear listener, thanks for tuning in and checking out our show. We hope that you're enjoying it at home or on the go. And if you have a moment, please just give a nice review. Please tell a friend about us so that they can like it too. We've got a Facebook page that would love a like or share. And Instagram for silly pics, Joe in his underwear. Five star reviews is what we need to grow, smile and win. But mainly thanks for checking out the podcast and a gin. Please give us a five star review. On Apple or Google. Please give us a five star review. Homebreaker or Castbox. Please give us a five star review. On Anchor or Stitcher. Start this link. Hello. Hello. That's my. That's my it's like, what's it? Mighty Boosh, isn't it? Hello. That's my game voice. Oh, my Welcome heart. to the show. Oh, Your sh- host of the show, <laughs> Joe. Hey, go. Hello. That's my catch. Like, that's my catchphrase. Hello. <laughs> that's my catchphrase. Hello. It's yeah. the word hello, but it's oh, slightly longer. Fucking love it. This week's game is a little different. Okay. Uh, oh. But not very different to what oh. we know. So every week nice. uh, we come up with a little game. Usually it's this or that. But this week it's uh, Craigslist Specialist. And I'm going to oh. need you guys to guess. The prices oh, of ser- oh, okay. services or goods offered on Craigslist. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need them in dollars because these are, these are the, the, for the most batshit crazy. I had to go to America. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Americans, yeah. Really? but you are. I never would have guessed that. You're a bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just kick it off, nice and easy. <clears throat> my grandma's teeth. And uh, description for this was for sale are my late grandmother's teeth. They're in decent condition. I'm kind of sentimentally attached to them. What? So email me to if you're interested or just want more. But that info. increases the price. Yeah. There appears to be eight teeth. So it's not oh, they're, like, they're not. Oh, right. So it's not like a fit of dentures. Uh, no, they're individual, quite rotted looking teeth. Eight teeth. $200. I reckon $50. $200, $50. I'm going to say 20 bucks. Spot on Ashley Tarrant. $200. <laughs> Are they your teeth? For some grandma's teeth. Uh, oh, yeah, if anyone could, because I could, can't be bothered to write this. Do you remember how many points you've got? Yeah, okay. 
Actually, she's got one. Uh, oh, this, is an, oh, this is a fairly old advert, so keep that in mind. So this was fairly new at the time. iPhone 4S, great condition. I'm asking for $150 for my iPhone 4S. This phone is a release date phone, and it's been taken care of and works like new. No scratches or benefits. I'm telling it's so cheap because the home button has a little bit of a poo smell to it. I use it a lot while on the toilet. Who doesn't use their smartphone while on the toilet, right? Uh, every smartphone here is going to be damn near a toilet phone anyway. I don't buy used phones for this reason. I'm selling this phone. I thought I'd be honest about it. Uh -huh. So, how much for an iPhone 4S poop phone? We're all going to say $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150. $150.
Oh, uh, cool. I'll do a couple more. Just because I've kind of lost track of. Yeah. <laughs> just, just because these were so funny when I. <laughs> this one's deceptive. A woman to sit in my bathtub full of noodles wearing a bathing suit. I will pay you blank to sit in my bathtub full of noodles where you wear a one-piece bathing suit. I will not be home, nor will anyone else. I'll leave the key for you and you sit there at leisure. I'll require at least five minutes stay. A neighbour will watch the front door from across the street using supplied stopwatch. Uh, we'll time your entry and departure. Please supply your own footwear. The noodles will be cooked and therefore slippery. Do not bring your sauce. Oh, well, oh, oh. Oh. Well, you lost can me I at source. Just, can I just pull the I will season the pasta after I turn home. Price Before we start guessing on price, what the fuck? <laughs> they obviously. Okay. Um, they when, did, I think they just want the someone to put their bodily. And you've just got to bear in mind that uh, noodles is American for spaghetti. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I am. Doesn't make it any that. better. But I love how you're trying. Like that's a justification. Like, oh, I do all the time. But <laughs> it's like it's like what's that? Who is that? Who was that chick that did um who sat in bathtub water and Dora people... the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, uh, 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 Belle Delphine, yeah. Joe's mum. Uh, <laughs> if Joe's if mom. my mum could make as much as Belle Delphine, then I'd encourage it. Yeah. Belle Delphine is a, it, a it might be something guy. like that, you know, they just want to like lick the noodles. Well, how, how much do you think? How much uh, you, how much is your time in a bath worth? I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be crap. Enough. Because no, it's because like, yeah, you got to be yeah. Do it, so. I, I you'd have reckon, to be pretty desperate to do that. Yeah. I reckon forty dollars. Forty dollars. Fifteen. Fifteen. I reckon it's more. I reckon because it, to get people to come in and do that, that's a bit of a weird one. Fifty. Asking for one US dollar. Sick. So you've really got to be some method. Uh, like just a couple more. I thought this one was quite clever. Uh, Someone is willing to make a fake wasp's nest uh, to put by your electric box if someone comes to shut off the electric. Uh, I mean, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know how much I hate wasps. So this one, this one I quite like. So uh, basically, electric cut-off decoys called it. It's just made out of paper and stuff, paper mache. Oh, that's great when it's outside. Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, if you if you wanted to turn the electric off, um, so I I absolutely hate wasps. I hate wasps. As like well. ridiculous. Like Americans have hornets as well. Oh, just all of it. I just uh, it, it, if you if you ever see me and you see me near a wasp, I will literally run for the hills. I'm it, awful. It does say uh, gives you a week extra time. Read it out to your cousins. Oh yeah. Oh, hey guys, do you want to borrow my do you want to borrow my fake wasp? Wait, what so it's a rent. No, 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 no. It's just if you buy it, you can rent it out to your cousins. Oh, okay. Make, well, make a bit of the money back, go, you know? Who are they to tell me what I do when I buy it? Well, how much, how much for it? Uh, I reckon uh, $60. $60, $25. i am going to go 75 $30, so you're closest. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, I, it could also be used as a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Sex toy. Made mm. with real wasps. Um, and the last one, a guy who will come and cry at your funeral, he has a set menu. Oh, uh, I've seen, oh, I've seen this one. I'm not, yeah. I don't know how much it is, but I have Normal seen Normal fifty dollars. I've seen the effort. Yeah. <laughs> something called Bahamian hollering is a hundred. <laughs> Crying and rolling around on the floor is hundred and fifty. Crying and threatening to jump in the grave is two hundred. But what is crying and actually jumping in the grave worth to you? Five hundred. It's, it's five hundred. Oh, five hundred. <laughs> it's a thousand. Ooh. So, no points for anyone. Right, whatever. Uh, so, I've, I've seen the pictures of that yeah, one. It's uh, just pictures of me, it's like on tears. All yeah, crazy. yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> I would love that. Um, so, I don't know who won that. I feel like it was Do Matt. you? Or Ash. Or Dave. Yeah, no, <laughs> it do you Dash. have any, uh, do you have any, any like funeral requests that you would like? I would yeah. like to be snorted. No, no, not, not, no, no, because we spoke about this last oh, week. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. But, but in regards to anything you'd like at your funeral. No sad songs. I always liked the idea of having the mean thing played when I get brought in. I want a guy dressed up as the Grim Reaper to just, just to stand there in the corner. <laughs> I want everyone to um, do a really big fake smile so it looks really creepy. Oh, Hawaiian themed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one can wear... Dark yeah, colors. Like I actually that. probably, I actually genuinely, I probably would have that. I, I wouldn't have since. it at a church as well. No, well, no. no like, nothing, no, nothing. Because my remains will burst into flames. I actually, I tell you what, I want a paper mache mold of me filled with my filled with consonants, wasps. filled with wasps. <laughs> <laughs> that opens up in the church and bites everyone. That's what I want. Do wasps bite? They do. They go. 
Oh, <laughs> what? Well, oh, it sounds like rain. Is it raining? Oh, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> and, 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 and then there's horses over there. I feel like I'm camping. Um, <laughs> there's a couple more things I found on here. So I looked up the old misconnection section. Oh yeah. Oh, you God. know, like you and Britain, Britain. It was like I saw you on the train. You fluttered your eyelashes. And, oh. And I winked. Nice, yeah. You know, I this one is to the beautiful lady who saw me pooping. <laughs> me taking a huge poop in the pizza bar, pizza shop bathroom. Oh, you fuck? drunk, beautiful. Discovered that I forgot to lock the door in my haste. Look, I know it must have been awkward for you to see me in that state, especially since it didn't seem to bother me when you walked in. We made eye contact for a brief moment. You have the most beautiful brown eyes. No pun intended. Um, <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> Why would you put that? Uh, you farted in Kroger yesterday. I did. Uh, you were the tall brunette with a near perfect body that farted in the bread section last night. I, did. I was a tall guy next to you that looked over and asked, Was that you? <laughs> You quickly replied, no, it wasn't me. You almost seem insulted, I'll ask. As the stink grew, you continued to deny your flatulence. But it was evident. I tried to get rid of the stench by waving two loaves of chia batter bread at you. <laughs> you proceeded to storm off in an angry manner. You are beautiful, and even if you are a liar and fought like a Clyde- Clydesdale, I'd love to meet you up. That's good. <laughs> that, no, that guy knows how to get that chick. Oh, what a hero. He's um, weird. Walmart, please be, don't be too mad. You came out of Walmart in Antioch, and I followed you. You looked over your shoulder and saw me... St- saw me and started walking faster I ran up grabbed your arm took your purse and ran away heard you yelling for help let's be honest this is Antioch the only way people would come running if you yelled free weed I've done many snatch grabs but no one has ever stuck in my mind like you there was a quick moment when my eyes met and I felt something strong I think you felt it too if I wasn't so shy or committing a crime I'd have asked your name I of course later got your name for your driver's license so if Candice you'd like to get together for a drink get back to me <laughs> and this last one just says hey punch my stomach hey looking for as many hard deep punches to my stomach as I can take for as long as I can. Male or females work. welcome. Shit, I thought I made it's that nice more anonymous, hobby. that one. <laughs> so yeah, um, if oh, you've well, got any you. misconnections, yeah, thanks. S- send them into Sin and, Sin and Jim Jim podcast. podcast at gmail.com. Don't. So uh, that was that, that thing. That <laughs> Good, let's do next section. Yeah, uh, uh, shit, shit. Go. Nose. Shit all Go. your nose. Shit. Energize. Shit. Energize. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired of giving those same old Gregorian chants to your elder gods? Do you think Cthulhu is bored out of his mind listening to the constant drone of it? Well, fear not anymore, because we've got the new Samana synth. The synth for that 80s vibe to your Gregorian chants. Good juicy crew retailers. This is the latest dispatch just received in our news. Jim Podcast bringing you the latest news from around the world with Victor Gosley, Crowboy, Frank and Gene, and Mr. Graves. This is Shit News. Yeah, sir, it's Shit News. <laughs> That's enough. Yes, yes. Oh, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, get straight in my face. It's shit news. Oh. <laughs> um, over your face. It's on my face. Um, welcome to shit news, where we um, we shit on each other's heard faces. You. <laughs> heard you. We heard you. We heard you. <laughs> Is any intro to this segment gonna go? We heard you. We, we heard we you. Stroke, mate. We, we heard, heard you like you. sheep. Like sheep. Not, like sheep. Not, not we heard you. Away from the lamestream media. Oh, okay. oh, Come on, at least let me finish your fucking sentence. Right, right, guys, let's right, 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 let Joe finish this. So we heard you away from the main, lamestream media and the Daily Fail and all of the, the, the crumb and all of that uh, to bring you <laughs> the only the hottest, soppiest, soppingness, just <laughs> sexy news. Uh, so, you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Katie Price will be in a wheelchair after another six months after Operation smashed up her feet. Bastard! Oh, uh, Nicki Minaj gives birth to oh. first child with husband Kenneth Petty. Fuck! Uh, Maura Higgins and Chris Taylor cozy up in London lunch date and make rumors, rumors. Make you mad! 
right. Um, and Hugh Jackman strips off completely naked to save for a pair of boots in a new campaign. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to see more. Um, and then uh, some other stuff. Uh, cool. <laughs> some other stuff. <laughs> uh, some other stuff happened. But this week, I want to focus on... Blip, 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 blip. So, you know, lockdown's been hard for all of us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I've just heard uh, that in Paisley, uh, which I think maybe in Wales... I oh, know Paisley. It's, Scot- it's in Scotland. Sorry for anyone. <laughs> well, wow, that's uh, in Scotland. Oh God! So get some angry emails. It's not in England. Uh, she missed Greg so much during lockdown. She got a tattoo of the Greg's logo on her bum. Uh, oh. Caitlin Jones couldn't contain her excitement when a baked goods chain reopened seven weeks ago. She booked herself straight away to get inked at the first available appointment. She said, "I'm obsessed with Greg's, and I've always loved their sausage rolls." Uh, before lockdown, I used to get one nearly every day. And I was gutted when they closed on lockdown. And what better way to uh, show your love by getting a fucking massive blue Griggs tattoo on your oh, ass? Yeah, Honestly, imagine. look it look it up. It is weird. Is and there a picture I mean, of the tattoo? Uh, yeah, I will try and find it for you during the what? next oh, exactly. But can we, can we, can you imagine that? Like you're in the bedroom, you know, you're going for it. You turn around turn and around. you see that fucking toe, and you'd be like, I am hungry. <laughs> I, I could, could really do with a sausage roll. <laughs> Sausage and bean bake. Yeah, I was gonna that say. Is, it's just nah. I mean, you know, we've you know we've got a fair share of you know shit tattoos amongst us and mm. listeners, but that is oh, that wow. is why that is bad. Why? I like that she got the camouflage jacket as well. I like the fact she put the Greg's logo next to it so that in case, in case you didn't know, because it, yeah, says, yeah. it yeah. says Greg's on the tattoo. Yeah. She even got the always fresh always tasty bit underneath I mean that's some brand loyalty now she ate a sausage roll every day oh. god imagine all the grease do you know what really annoys me it. oh god <laughs> chicken bake hear it coming on oh no right it's been a while well, listen this is going to be a big one listen here oh here we oh, go oh here we Shit. go I fucking hate it when people say no no in fact I've got a few things oh that's here we go box, oh. I fucking hate it so is this still the news <laughs> when people say oh I'm getting inked like you pretentious fucking asshole! You're not fucking. You're getting a tattoo. Stop saying I'm getting inked. It's fucking stupid. Just don't be a dickhead. And the worst thing I hate is you know I've got a lot of tattoos. Have you? Right? Have you? Where? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and tattoos. Worries. Tattoos bloody hurt. They they all hurt. Breezy. Right. <laughs> I've had and I and I've had anything from you know my back to my chest to my penis to my freaking stomach tattooed I remember the penis one yeah mm. but <laughs> yeah, it yeah. really pisses me off and people go oh well usually I just like fall asleep when I- oh, no fuck, fuck off. off no you don't fucking fall asleep no one fucking well, no falls one, asleep don't be a fucking no, no one is impressed by your lie you mm. dirty poo head <laughs> so don't lie about that or I'll kill you um You've got five days. The only time you're allowed to say you get inked is when you're squid wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> or you're squid wrestling. <laughs> that is the only time. Um, when, you're in, when you're in the, the Art World Championship final. That was yeah. my soapbox. Um, <laughs> dip, 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 dip. Oh, I'm getting a hot scoop news from directly to my right. Um, chuck us your news bullet. Do what? Chuck us a news uh, bullet. Chuck us a news bullet, Ash. Here and he'll read it out to you. Are you talking to me, Joseph? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for letting on that one. Okay, um, might be a bit of Mine is kind of cool, but at the same time not. <laughs> Rail workers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a happy medium. Shut the fuck up. Are you, are you one of those people like, uh, just, did I you deliver find... news in a shit sandwich? I he's he's, he's a salt sandwich. Right? But no, <laughs> rail workers suspended after man cave found on the railway. So, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so authorities were tipped off anonymously and were told workers would hang out and get drunk and party in the room. So some rail workers found a room underneath a New York City railway station, which they made into a man cave. They filled it with a futon sofa, a television, and various other bits and pieces, and used to basically bunk off work and spend time in their man cave. Wow. And, um, yeah, so they got suspended because it got found out after but quite after quite a bit of time from the looks of it. <laughs> um, and to be honest, I say good on them. Yeah, that's awesome. Well done, I, you guys. I've got a lot. Of, I've got so, a lot. I've got a lot of time for that. Shit. Why is an advert playing? Don't play. Um, I, I, this is be, sponsored by. <laughs> to be fair, I spent thirteen years in retail, working in shops in various roles. Yeah. Uh, I, I did like in every shop I worked in as a manager. I did like to have a little like place I could just escape. Yeah. yeah. CC, like one of them uh when I one of the last sort of jobs I did was uh, the CCTV room because only three people in the building had access and I was one of them. So I'd oh. sit in the CCTV room 
pretending to look for criminals and I'd just be like decompress yeah spy on all the female workers touching touching the shelves touching the shelves I was going to say touching something watching them buy salmon oh Oh, that's not the right Um, salmon to buy jacket uh, potatoes yeah there was one that had a little (laughs) secret room behind the fridge where a little secret room it was like behind in blue water Oh, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> what do I still work for this company. Um, but yeah, it was like a, a secret little room that was behind the fridge and then was just didn't really have a purpose. Just All right, just like a little there. storage room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair. That was my room. Your room. Your room. The best one I had, though, the best one I had. Sorry, man, I will get to you. Is my <laughs> witch behind the uh, fridge. When I, used to, when I used to work in Maidstone, it would, the store was split into two sides. And on the other side, there was only women that worked there, but there was a men's toilet. Right. So it was my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big toilet, but it was just for me. And even for some reason, had like an outer room between the toilet and the corridor that had like a chair and like a little table for putting your drink on. So sometimes I just sit in there. <laughs> <laughs> sit there. That's, that's your crying room. Oh, yeah. When I get too stressed, I've just got to sit on this chair outside the toilet going, the fuck is my life? Prep himself yeah. for that oh, big shit he needs. Oh, I'm getting some, some hot. It's hot, hot stuff hot from Dartford. Scoops. Matthew. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Uh, no, you're coming Hi. through now. Okay, good. Uh, so, yes, five parrots separated at British Zoo after encouraging each other to curse profusely at guests. <laughs> Sorry, did you say parrots? Parrots. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, I, oh yeah, parrots. parrots. You said carrots. Carrots. Parrots. Uh, yeah, parrots. Uh, a British Wild uh, Life Sanctuary has been forced to separate five parrots who wouldn't stop swearing at visitors. <laughs> I'd, pay, say, no, I'd pay extra I'd to see that. But well, keepers say the birds encouraged each other to keep cursing and had to be moved from the main That's outdoor so aviary. Amazing. And it, their names were Billy, Eric, Tyson, Jade, and Elsie were removed from view this week. The Associated Repe- uh, Press reports they recently joined the Lincolnshire Wildlife uh, Centre's colony. Um, of 200 African grey parrots in August oh, yeah. were putting quarantine together and quickly overwhelmed the staff with their <laughs> naughty language. Overwhelmed. <laughs> I just imagine this woman, oh, oh, I mean, oh, oh. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so uh, when a parrot tells you to fuck off, it amuses people very highly, he said. It's brought a big smile to a really hard year. I was going to say, I can imagine. <laughs> so why did they get rid of them? Uh, well, if you've got kids... Uh, you, if you've got kids, yeah. you should teach them to swear. Yeah, tell your kids to um, Yeah, still, uh, keepers thought it'd be best to keep them away from children so not to ruffle any feathers. Oh, see we did that. Uh, yeah, they were separated and moved to various different areas of the wildlife centre and were then shot. <laughs> 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 no, they Johnny. wasn't. They um, wasn't really. They wasn't. Uh, so that's a bit more wholesome. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> rifle goes off. You fucking. <laughs> bip, 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 bip. Oh, I'm getting some some steamy sex news from from Dave. Oh, it's definitely not sexy, and it's definitely not wholesome. Uh, a man has died just days <laughs> after being exposed to contaminate. Uh, sorry, what? contaminated soil while he was potting plants, causing his brain to turn to liquid. What? The f- what? I don't like any of that sentence. I'll show you. A pi- I'm going to show you a picture first. No, I don't. Look at that. Oh, cute. That's his brain. Oh, what the fuck? This is your brain on crack. So, so Dave's just showing the camera the 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 liquidized brain, which we all want to see. Yeah. yeah. Yum yum. Forbidden <laughs> snack. <laughs> Forbidden soup. Um, <laughs> Forbidden soup. <laughs> right. An so, eighty-year-old man has caught a rare infection caused by free living at amoebas. Which are commonly found in soil. So these things are actually really? literally oh, no. <laughs> living. Yeah. Stop it! Don't these these things are hanging? Oh, you fuck! These things are hanging around in soil all the time. He's done it again. I'm I'm, I'm really sorry, but I have to do. the thing that happened before where Matt just uncontrollably started laughing for absolutely no reason. I'm, I'm looking away from. He's him. been drinking since midday. We're really sorry. Mid-day he's had the, he's had the day off. So basically, this bloke trying to sort out his mortgage just bloke. turned into drinking. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Go on, Dave. Tell us about this super brain. Tell me about that super brain. What a super brain. One super brain. brain. One super brain boy. Um, so this guy was potting up some plants. He was an 82 year old man, um, and he managed to catch a rare infection um, from the soil. There are um, free living amoebas in in hey, dude. in most of the soil. I can't look that way. In most of the soil that's out there. <laughs> Uh, for a couple of weeks, he felt really 
I feel sorry for anyone that's. I'm this sorry, is the guys. first listen to Sid and Gin. I'm sorry. Never, re- <laughs> <laughs> never recommend anyone this this podcast this episode this for the first time. Listen. Oh um, this is really for the okay. this is for the hardcore fans. Yeah. Okay. He, he basically, his guy okay. was ill for two weeks, and then um, and then he died, and then his brain <laughs> turned to liquid. <laughs> I bet he saw it himself. <laughs> oh, broth brain, Bren. Broth brain, Ben. Broth brain, Ben. I mean, that's an insult. If you ever get annoyed by someone, shut up, broth brain. <laughs> if you're listening to this, broth brain, we're oh, sorry. Your you're brain not such a broth brain. brain. But you're dead. <laughs> There's other things to that, but it ain't happening. It's not oh, happening. Um, I, so there's your facts. Brain. I feel like I'm. The, I I I will continue to link because I'm most composed right now. Because you lot can't be trusted with anything. I'm just looking at him. He looks like he's sucking on a lemon for my cup. Yeah. Uh, for no Seven. reason. In, for no reason at all. Matt is finding this hilarious this week. I know uh, it's weird, isn't it? I know. I can't think of a single reason. Can you think of a reason? I don't know. I'm um, a bit blind so to figure out why. Up next, we've got Blankomatic, which is uh, uh, a journey through words. A word of Here journeys. <laughs> a journey through words. Blankomatic. It's chromatic. It's dramatic. Blankomatic. La, 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 la. It's blankomatic. <laughs> All right, you poo poo weenies. Yeah. Nice. Listen Bastards. here. It's October the 1st. And you know what that means? What does that mean, guys? It's the 1st of uh, October. Uh, Billy Joe finally gets to wake up. He's going to get... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he does. He yeah. can wake up now. Uh, what else does it mean? Uh, it's close it's to the year of spookum, spookum months. It's spooky months. Spooky, spooky. So this week, we are doing a frightening Halloween night. Oh, oh wow. Nice. We're really really spunk, really spunking the Halloween one this, this early, are we? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we'll find another Halloween one for so other many, Halloween. So many Halloweens. Uh, so yes, we're going to do a frightening Halloween night. And do you know what the perfect soundtrack to Halloween month is? Victor and the Bully. Whoa. Whoa. Available on all streaming platforms. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we've got the a new EP Victor out. Victor and the Bully. <laughs> um, so the intro that this describes oh. it is uh, what happened on Halloween night. That's it. Oh, what happened on Halloween night? Yeah, so, are we ready? Thanks. Yes. Oh, now we are. Wait, I think I need to explain what Blankomatic is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It might be a good idea. Yeah, so please. the Blankomatic, we basically find a random generator <laughs> online and we put in uh, <laughs> random words like adjectives, nouns, blah, 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 and we will create a story, a letter, story. or whatever, and we click generate and it will create whatever it's meant to be. Just for you. Just Lucky for you. you. Right, are we ready? Uh, yes, yeah, I'm, I mean I'm never ready for this, but you're always ready. Get into an adjective. Uh, um, bladded. 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 Mm. That's a. Verb. Don't be. Don't be. Don't be. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not. Describing. There's some more. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Holds that one because I like that one. We'll, we'll, uh, put, that in the, we'll it. put that in the book. Savor um, it. Savor. Um. Oh, no, spookum. Spookum. Uh, yeah. Spooky. Flaky. Spooky. 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 Just be spooky. spooky. Spooky, but you've got to say it in a Geordie accent. Spooky dookie. Spooky dookie. Spooky dookie. Okay, we'll go spooky, spooky dookie. Duke of the spook. Number. Uh, Seven. Six, six, six. Six, six, six. 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 Oh, six. Or family Nero. member. Uh, um, um, dead nan. My aborted... I was going to say... My aborted sister. Broth brain brother. Broth brain brother. Uh, Billy Bob, the broth brain brother. <laughs> Billy Bob, Bob, the broth the brain, brain brother. brother. The still born brother. <laughs> Billy Bob. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, David. That's hilarious. I don't know what he said. Billy Bob, broth brain brother. The brother, the broth brain brother. Billy Bob, the broth brain brother. Noun. Uh, um, do, is there any examples of what no. kind of noun they want? Just, just, just noun. a noun. Um, uh, a gravestone. <laughs> no. Um, tomb. Uh, no, come on. Oh, the um, tomb of uh, 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 Jimmy. Gandhi. Jim John Gandhi's flip flop. <laughs> John Johnson. Dad Danson's dear nunchucks. <laughs> Dad Danson's dear dear nunchucks. There you go. Dad Danson's dear nunchucks. Something's cutting off the circulation of my brain today. 
Oh, <laughs> what could that be? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Dad, Dad, <laughs> dear nunchucks. <laughs> We're going for a real alliteration today. Yeah, Christ. Uh, oh, same family member. Sorry, I got to type this in. <laughs> Billy Bob Broth Brain Brother. <laughs> I've, uh, I figured it. What? Um, red light, ap- uh, red jumpsuit apparatus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Broth Brain Brother. Okay. Um, noun. Uh, uh, clams. Uh, war clams. <laughs> the clams of war. The clams, clams of war. war. The clams of war. The clams of war. Not war hogs. War clams. Yeah. All right. The clams of war. Set forth the clams of war. <laughs> Adjective plus er. Uh, um, uh, grime, grimier, flakier. Oh, flakier. I feel like we'd use flaky a lot, though. Have we used flaky? Mm, I don't know. We have used flaky. Flaky. Yeah, flaky. Okay. <clears throat> a verb. What was, your... what was it? What was it you said? Oh, fuck. I have forgot. Gush. Gush. Oh. Gush. <laughs> gush. <laughs> oh, I will have gush. Gush. Another Sorry. adjective. Uh, yes. Silken. What? Silken. <laughs> silken. Silken. The silken fur. Is that a word? Yeah, that's yeah, something oh. that's silky. Silken. Isn't it silky then? <laughs> <laughs> what about that's silky? Saliva. So we use the word silken. Oh, yeah, I like saliva. Saliva is definitely not a word. No. <laughs> it is now. You all fucking. Oh, no, it changed to slivered. Slivered, oh. yes. That's, <laughs> that's, no, no, that's, that's a verb. verb. <laughs> no, no. Um, um, all right, no. Tepid. Bumpy. Slopping. Bumpy. <laughs> oh, I like that, yeah. I like a bumpy. Bumpy. A bit bumpy. Another verb. Uh, um, well, I, I want to know what Dave said initially. Um, yeah. Bludgeoned. Was it bludgeoned? Bludgeoned? It wasn't bludgeoned, <laughs> but it is now. It is now. <laughs> bludgeoned, you watched it. It was the same beginning with B. Bludgeoned, okay. If only we could go back in time. <laughs> if only we could listen back to this podcast. I know, apparently. <laughs> uh, right, plural dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Profiterole. Funny, fla- funny flapjacks. Funny flapjacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, can, we but... have, can we not have puppy profiteroles? Pussy and we do, I thought we were doing alliteration. Fanny Flapjacks and Pussy <laughs> Profiteroles. <laughs> All right. Fanny Flapjacks and Pussy Profiteroles. <laughs> pussy Profiteroles. Fucking hell. What did you say? I said Puffy Profiteroles. Oh. <laughs> puffy, the, puffy the Profiteroles there. Aunt, Aunt Fran's Fanny Flapjacks. <laughs> Aunt Fran and Ferdinand. Oh, I can't even say it. Puffy, You've got to say puffy Father Profiteroles. Father Fred's Fanny Flapjacks. Puffy. The cows here. Profiteroles. <laughs> But over there, okay. far away. A liquid. Oh, yes. um, uh, uh, Peter Venkman's slam jam. Slime. <laughs> Peter Venkman's slam jam. Slime. I, like, I like jam. <laughs> slime. I like slam jam slime. Slam, slam jam, jam slime. slime. Oh, we're just going to slam jam slime. Is it Venkman or Venkman? <laughs> it's Venkman. Venkman. I said Venkman. No, I, I mean, you're asking a, I mean, you're asking oh, that's a, man that's a giant asking. Ghostbusters that's collection. That's what I just looked at. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what, did oh. what did we uh, Plural fruit. <laughs> um, snake fruits. Snake, snake fruit. fruit. Um, uh, a couple of spooky cucumbers. <laughs> Jambalaya. <laughs> spooky cucumbers. Spooky. <laughs> a couple of. Well, we've already got spooky, haven't we? Oh, so a couple of um, scary. A, a couple of harem scarum melons. <laughs> harem scarum. <laughs> harem scarum. <laughs> harem scarum. <laughs> harem scarum. Harem scarum. <laughs> oh god, I wanted to be right. It. One more thing. Harem. Up. Who's the scarum? Dumb and deafman. <laughs> Oh, Helen Keller, that's what I'm Helen thinking. Keller! <laughs> Helen Keller Melon! <laughs> Single Helen food Melon. item. Helen uh, Keller's Melon. Helen Keller's Melon. Ice Gems. Cottage Pie. Ice Gems! Ice Gem Cottage Pie. And a, a, a lonely, the loneliest Ice Gem. <laughs> a lonely Ice Gem. Nice, an Ice Gem no, one missing its gem. biscuit base. I'm going to just say uh, a lonely Iced Gem. With no biscuit base. <laughs> a lonely ice gem with no biscuit base <laughs> so if, if any Americans listen to this Google iced gems I think they have iced it's, gems don't they yeah, Do probably you? probably call them something weird like um, uh, like it's icicle magic oh, wait, no, it's yeah it's it's icicle pony, pony poos I never have you had your icicle pony poos I just I don't get that because you've got to lay uh, yourself down an <laughs> adjective <laughs> plus er um oh yeah. oh scalia Scalia. Yeah, alright. Mm, I like that. Trying to keep it spookums. Spookums. Section, middle, beginning, end. Middle. Oh, middle. Oh. Oh, yeah, middle. 
middle. Everyone loves the middle. Yeah. Verb, That's where all the best bits verb are. Verb plus ED. Um, wait. Verbed. Gun, gunged. <laughs> gunged. Oh, that's a great one. Nick- Nickelodeon gunged. Nickelodeon gunged. Get your okay. own back. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? I'm looking at you. Nickelodeon are gunged. Holiday. Um, oh, in Barbie. Cambodia. Bar- um, what's the generic? <laughs> Clamtown, Cambodia. Are you, are you thinking of Santa, Benidorm? Santa Benidorm. Spring Break. Benidorm. 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 Uh, City of Benidorm. Santa's Ski. Result cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're just saying uh, <laughs> sad to ski result. C- Clamtown Cambodia's. We've done that. Yeah, we've had Clamtown. What about his cousin? Um, Fishtown France. <laughs> <laughs> France. <laughs> did, a, did a fart with a laugh. <laughs> we just Santa. I feel like Santa needs to be. Uh, what about Judge Rinder's. Um, <laughs> Judge, <laughs> Judge Rinder's. Judge Rinder's. Judge Rinder's raunchy uh, ruckus. No. Adam Ju- Fillery's Sam Sandwich Sam 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 Ju- uh, <laughs> Judge Rinder's um, fish tank. <laughs> fish tank island. That's Judge, the Rinder's, Judge Rinder's fish tank holiday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, Judge Rinder's fish tank that's, holiday. That's that's what we all celebrate. <laughs> we love Judge Rinder's fish tank holiday. Earthly substance. Oh, I thought you meant Cancel. going on holiday. Did you mean like a public holiday? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something. Oh, do you want to do this? No, no, it's no, fine. No, no, no we're going to keep this. Holidays. Holidays. No, 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 no. Okay. An earthly substance, fire, smoke, sun, wind, etc. Um, uh, um, excrement. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, excrement. excrement. That's an earthly substance. Excrement. What's more earthly than excrement? Grand- oh, no, wait, what, what about... Grand-dose, grand-dose no, no, excrement. what about um, uh, just rotting rabbit? Rotting, rotting rabbit. rabbit. Yeah. No, I, like, I quite excrement. like excrement. Well, I think it needs to be a certain thing. No, nah, just excrement. Um, excrement. Keep it simple. Why complicate the most beautiful, pure form on earth? <laughs> <laughs> the most beautiful, pure form. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, just go excrement. Yeah. Excrement. <laughs> <laughs> Two nouns. Um, uh, oh, laser. Wig. To- laser toes. Weed. Wig. Wig. Laser toad. What? <laughs> wig. Where'd you get that from? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, a wig. A, a silly billy wig. Silly, silly billy, billy wig. Silly billy wig. Three and, uh, silly wigs. Nan's electric light <laughs> bulb. What stick. About Nan's electric blanket. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty common thing yeah. that a Nan might have. Well, I'm right. cold, so. All right. Sister's electric blanket. No, Nan's electric jazz blanket. <laughs> oh. Does it play jazz when you go to sleep? Yeah. Jazz blanket. <laughs> Nan, jazz blanket. Nan's Nan. Nan's fucking love that. <laughs> jazz blanket. Just get Nan's just, jazz blanket. Just curling up at night. <laughs> that wasn't jazz. That wasn't oh. jazz. It's just written, <laughs> some kind of samba. It's just written same noun as last, so I assume Nan's I have to just write blanket. Nan's. Electric. What about Nan's electric jizz blanket? <laughs> oh. Electric fizz blanket. It sounds like a band name. Yeah. We are Nan's Electric, electric Juice blanket. blanket. And this album is called oh, just Snakes on My Head All the Time. Snakes on My Head All the Time. Why did you say that like you were running out of batteries? <laughs> all right, we need, a, we need a type of sound. Whistle, laugh, pound. Uh, sc- bump. <laughs> How do you spell that? Ski. Um, uh, whistling um, between uh, the... What about... What about... Bubble, bubble, what about, the, what, about, what, a, what about a silent puff bubble? Uh, oh, what's that? Putting that's foreskin like between your bubble, hands and blowing puff, puff, uh, like a blade of glass. Puff, puff. Grass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to write Papa Bubbaloo. Papa Bubbaloo. Papa Bubbaloo. Yeah. Not today. Right, we need two adjectives. Not today. Um, I love that. As if he doesn't know what a puff bubble is. Uh, cool, crustier. Oh, it's an adjective. Yeah, two adjectives. Um... um uh, Velcro-y. Velcro-y. Pi- pi- piratey. Piratey. You just look Pirate at your picture of pirates that you've Pirate got in your What about... Uh, no, it's adjectives, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, super, Blow up. Super, super smooth. <laughs> super, super smooth. Um, <laughs> I'm not just smooth, I'm super, super smooth. <laughs> super, super smooth. Uh, and then um, we need extra, extra friction. Extra, extra friction. Oh, I've, um, got, I've got an itchy head today. Yes, have I. Griffy, grif- I've got a sweaty forehead. Uh, a bit itchy as well. Um, uh, you need um, uh, c- crunchy like crickets. <laughs> crunchy like crickets. Was that uh, like was that, that um, adjective? Was that yeah, um, no, I like that. A Bob Marley B side. Yeah. <laughs> crunchy like crickets. Crunchy like crickets. <laughs> so many crickets. <laughs> crunchy like crickets. Crunchy Same like- family member used. Oh fuck! What did I write? Billy Bob bro- Brain Brother. <laughs> Why is it the same? I don't know. It just said Billy. Billy Bob 
Right, the next one we need is a noun. Um, uh, the clay feet of... <laughs> Joe's fucking word emporium. Clay like... feet. Let's write clay feet. Clay, clay feet. <laughs> some clay feet I found. Some, some clay feet I found. <laughs> Who do they belong to? <laughs> Nobody knows. Are these yours? <laughs> your Have you feet. dropped your clay feet? Maybe. So I've just written some clay feet I found. <laughs> <laughs> Verb plus ed. Yeah. Uh, sex in blackened. 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 Well, all right. Metallica. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, we're going to go blackened. 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 Like my morning toast. A noun. Uh, Shoestring. Uh, uh, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> shim shim sham shoe shiru. <laughs> shim sham shiru. Uh, uh, oh, uh, very old scatty. A case of baskets. Mary oh, Poppins that. rotten block. Poppets. Pop tarts. <laughs> Nerds. Mary Poppins rotting Mary Poppins. Uh, Mary, uh, Mary Poppins pog collection. Pog. Uh, Mary Poppins podcast on pogs. Podcasts on pogs. <laughs> podcast on pogs. Mary Poppins podcast on pogs. Great, thanks, guys. <laughs> well, you're, you're enjoy that. That's it. Now is that thing? I guess it is a thing. A verb. Uh, um, slide. <laughs> slide. Right, the just... band or the slide. 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 <laughs> Single slide. food item. Uh, uh, lemon. Walnut. Walnut. <laughs> no, because you need seven lemons. Oh yeah, you can't, uh, can't have one. Yeah, you just a walnut. Oh, just one just, walnut, just please. Walnut. Can you take yeah. them out the packaging for me, please? Just want the one. Walnut. Color. Um, green. Tony Blair. Green. <laughs> Boris Brown. <laughs> Let's move away from the politicians. All right, okay, All right. Uh, we'll do a new group of colours. Um, what about uh, uh, what about uh, Kate Bush's explosive brown? Robert Smith red. <laughs> Robert Smith red. Brenda's uh, green. Tony Blackburn black. Milky Morrissey. <laughs> Milky Morrissey. <laughs> What's not even a colour? Yes, what Mi- Morrissey milk. Morrissey, Morrissey milk. milk. Right. Morrissey Milk Murray. And if you don't Morrissey like milk it, Murray. you can... Morrissey Milk Murray. You'd actually get along with Morrissey. He's also a pro-Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Morrissey and me go way back. Just drinking Fanta back in drinking the day. Drinking Fanta. Ash has right, got a single girlfriend piece in a coma. Of clothing. Huh? What? Single piece of clothing. Codpiece. Uh, yeah, G-string. G-string. G-string codpiece. Um, G-string codpiece. What about left knee pad? Left knee pad, G-string Oh, yeah, codpiece. I like left knee pad. Use left knee pad. Use, Use yeah. left knee pad, yeah. Not one of those new ones. I once went to Sports Direct and asked if I could buy a knee brace. And I literally, I can remember the words like it was yesterday. I went in there and went, hi there. Do you sell knee braces? <laughs> and they went, and yes. And I went, oh, that, thanks. And, and I, I went, thanks. And went, right here. And I got a knee brace I've worn ever since. No, legit. I went in there and went, excuse me, do you sell knee braces? And she went, what for? <laughs> for my elbow. <laughs> and, yeah. I, and I went, what? And she went, what for? And I went, it's, it's a knee brace. And she went, yeah, what do you use it for? And I went, to brace my knee. I'm going to suffocate a child with it. Man or woman? Uh, uh, woman? Woman. Woman. Because Whoa, man. Whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Uh, there's still a few to go. Uh, but th- wicked, there's still a few wicked. to go, but I think this is going to be... I think this is going to pay off, this one. Hopefully. A noun. Um, stay puffed. Chicken nuggets. Stay puffed chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh. Stay puffed. That, that old noun. <laughs> you know, I'm going to write... Marshmallow chicken nuggets. Marshmallow chicken nuggets. How'd you feel about that? Oh, Marshmallow. Know it's... Chicken nugs. Chicken, chicken nuggets. Nuggets. Nug chicken nuggets. Nug nuggets. Nug nuggets. Uh, verb. Uh, skate- verb. Destroy. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got something in your hair. <laughs> Destroy. There you go. Uh, there you noun. Go. Um, uh, the blood of Pat Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> The blood of the I didn't get a chance to say anything then. That was done and done. That one was. <laughs> why, why? Is this something you've been thinking about for a while? Well, me and Joe have been planning on going to Yeah, I just look Matt directly into the eye. <laughs> just mm. the blood of Pat Sharp. The blood of Pat Sharp. Something about him reminds me of Pat Sharp today. <laughs> Plural clothing. Um, uh, silky stockings. Oh. Oh, well, Ash has got his weekend plans. Yeah. Sorted. It's only Thursday and I thought Friday was coming early. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Verb plus ED. Um, oh, uh, plunged. <laughs> Bludgeoned. Oh, we had that one, didn't we? <laughs> that was literally your one as well. <laughs> you want to like, you want to tell us something? Uh, crumbed. Uh, Bludgeoned. Po- pogoed. Crumbed. I like crumbed. Pogoed. <laughs> pogoed. <laughs> pogoed. <laughs> right. Injected. I brought my pogo trick to show a trick. And now, so many friends. So we need two nouns. One angered baboon. Beaver. 
I'm trying to think. One angered baboon. <laughs> okay. One angered baboon. I'll just, uh, just write angered baboon. Angered baboon. Yeah, there we go. I'm just doing a joke. Uh, like a grumpy lizard. A hand covered in what's it dust. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> oh, it won't go. <laughs> hand covered. <laughs> In what? He's, he's gone down like five to another noun to put that in. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> so don't be what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> right, and we need an adverb. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Sheepishly. Sheepishly. Uh, yeah, Scums. that's quite nice. Yeah. Mm, an, an emotion. Um, um, constant, constant, mild con- bewilderment. Constant, constant, <laughs> never ending sadness. <laughs> oh, that mild bewilderment. Mild bewilderment. A constant state of low key arousal. (laughs) Consistent (laughs) erection. (laughs) Verb. Consistent Uh, erection. (laughs) Erect. Erect. Erected. Erected. Okay. So erect. Same family member used. Billy Bob Broth Brain Brother. (laughs) (laughs) If I have to say it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Billy Broth Brain Brother. (laughs) Billy Bob Brain Brother. (laughs) Billy Bob. You think it would have that in there? Yeah, and have that keep. Yeah, it's almost like it's made by just random normal people. <laughs> yeah, no. part of a costume: boot, uh, cape, wig, mask, uh, eye patch. Was oh, it the return of Clitwigs? Clitwigs. <laughs> what about uh, blind man's butt plug? <laughs> <laughs> Will he get it in? Nobody knows. <laughs> The trick is he's not putting it in himself. <laughs> he's putting it in you. He's, he's playing like it's... Um, I'm sure a blind man can put in his own butt mode. No, he's that's playing, what... That's he's the... playing with another blind friend and they play like a pin the tail on the dog. Yeah, exactly. oh, okay. yeah. I was going to say, he's not putting it, he's not putting it in himself. Yeah. Oh. He gets okay, well, I'm, I'm, I've now written Blind Man's Butt Plug. Yeah, yeah you never played Blind Man's Butt Plug. That sounds like a really terrible the next pirate question game. Is, <laughs> top or bottom? <laughs> bottom? Both. Bottom. Bottom, bottom. bottom. yeah. Bottom. I like being bottom. Colour. Uh, uh, cheese. Grouchy grease. Cheese! <laughs> Just for the cheese! Two cheese. Two cheese. Cheese. cheese is the colour. Oh, cheese is the colour. Adjective. Um, <laughs> slashing. Oh my fuck. That's the verb. That's a verb. All right. Um, 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 crumpled. Oh. Yeah. Crumply skin. Yeah, crumpled. Crumpled uh, skin. Two verbs. Uh, float. Sink <laughs> and, <laughs> and drown. Can we have slushing then? You always pick drown. What <laughs> 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 was your slushing? I've got a fear episode. of drowning. Slash. Maybe that's it. Slash. Slash. Uh, I'm sorry, Jeff Buckley. Okay, All right. Go, oh my God. <laughs> go drown <laughs> in the reservoir. Oh, no. <laughs> right, a room in the house. Uh, um, uh, spooky cellar. <laughs> in, um, well, we've got spooky earlier, so. Uh, creepy cellar. What's what's right? Spider in the dark, dark. What's that old song? Creep'em, creep'em deep'em cellar. Creep'em <laughs> deep'em. Spider infested um, hole. Trap door. Spider, in the dark. Spider infested. Oh yeah, the trap door. <gasps> in the dark, dark. Man. In the no, dark, dark place. Room house. Spider in infested. Door. Penis. Um, infested. Um, Urethra. Toilet bowl. Anus. Dining bedroom. But I think we should have something that's not spooky. Oh. oh. Uh, um, you know, second bedroom. Laboratory. Se- second <laughs> second living room. Laboratory. Um, conservatory. Front living room. Front living room. Maid's quarters. Maid's quarters. <laughs> um, spider infested what's, maid's what's, quarters. Spi- study. Study. Spider infested uh, Ping pong room. Ping pong Cinema. Room. Billiards hall. Ping pong. I'm going to do game spider room. Game room. I'm going to do spider infested ping, ping pong room. Nobody has a ping pong room, Matt. Unless game you're maybe room. Asian. Game room. So I've got a ping pong room. Game room. Game room. <laughs> game room. Okay. Have you got a ping pong room? If you've got a ping pong room, you hide it very well in this yeah. room. Where is it? <laughs> uh, noun plural. Uh, um, goblins. Goblins, yeah, no, that, 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 that. Couple of goblies. Couple, couple, couple of goblins. Goblin goblins. Couple of goblin goblins. Couple of goblins. Direction, down, up, sideways, back, around. Um, southeast. Uh, southeast, because, you know, big uh, up the southeast. Let's just say sideways. Let's keep it simple. Take it back now, y'all. Like a record player. Is or isn't? Is. Isn't. Oh. Hmm. Isn't. Disgusting. Always or never? Always. Never. I'm going to say uh, Always. Gonna yeah. Say, well, fuck you guys. Yeah. Smash <laughs> Whatever Dave says, do the opposite. Yeah, I see how it is. <laughs> okay, right, ready? Oh, mate, I am oh, always. Fuck, you know, right, I'll take a drink. 
Go on, take a drink. Can I scratch my <laughs> Can I scratch my head yet? Yeah, Could that have been any more noisy, Dave? Fucking no. hell. Right, are we ready? <laughs> Quiet yeah. in the room, please. Ah, pisto. Let's go. A frightening Halloween night. Ooh. It, was it was a spooky dookie Halloween night <laughs> when I took my 666 year old Billy Bob Broth brother <laughs> trick or treating. Oh, oh that's a great he's, age. He's old. It's so funny when they're at age. Yeah, there was. Fucking... I went as a dad dadson's. Dear n- nunchucks. <laughs> Quite the interesting costume. And my there. Billy Bob Broth bro- brain brother dressed up as the clams of war. <laughs> <laughs> we visited almost every house in our neighborhood, flakier than expected, so we decided to trickle trickle gush in the next neighborhood. <laughs> trickle oh. gush! Oh. Hey! Knock, knock, knock. Trick or gush. (laughs) Trick, 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 trick. (laughs) So we decided to trick or gush in the next neighbourhood, the bumpy area where rich people bludgeoned. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, it's like the purge. It is, isn't it? (laughs) it We got giant fanny flapjacks and puffy profiteroles, (laughs) slam jam slime dipped candy cane... Harem scarum melon. <laughs> this all sounds good. Wow. <laughs> Slam jam slime dipped candy harem scarum melons. <laughs> and even full size a lonely ice gem with no biscuit base bars. <laughs> I'm glad it's full size and not miniature. <laughs> I hate those miniature ones. <laughs> this is way scalier than our neighbourhood. <laughs> well, if it's rich people, they are. It's so much scales. scalier. <laughs> then we came to a huge mansion on the middle of the street. It was completely Nickelodeon gunged. (laughs) (laughs) We came to a huge mansion in the middle of the street that was completely Nickelodeon gunged out in Judge Rinder's fish tank holiday decoration, (laughs) including fake excrement, (laughs) creepy music coming from their silly billy wig. We walked up to the Nan's electric jazz blanket and knocked. <laughs> it's not going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> the Nan's electric jazz blanket slowly opened. <laughs> and, made, and made a papa 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 loo sound. Dave? Papa papa loo! We knew this was going to be a super super smooth. <laughs> but no one came to the door. We yelled. Is any is anyone crunchy like crickets? <laughs> <laughs> is anyone crunchy like crickets? No. Oh, on, let me, let me is anyone again. crunchy like crickets? <laughs> but no one came to the door. We yelled, "Is anyone crunchy like crickets?" But still, no answer. My Please. Billy Bob Broth Brain brother pushed <laughs> the clay feet. <laughs> <laughs> my Billy Broth brain brother pushed the some clay feet I found and walked inside. I followed. We both looked at each other and blackened. <laughs> Excuse that, me. I'm sorry, what? Dun, 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 <laughs> That's when we dun. saw a huge Mary Poppins podcast of, on Pogs <laughs> of treats with a sign that said, Slayed yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like this person added. The blanks yeah. randomly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did. We each took a giant rainbow walnut. <laughs> <laughs> when we turned around, mm. there stood a figure wearing a Morrissey milk maroon robe with an, o- <laughs> <laughs> with an oversized used left knee pad and an old woman mask holding a marshmallow chicken, nu- marshmallow chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, Christ. It told us to destroy. <laughs> and then wait, wait, say that again. It's like, it's like a line from a horror film. <laughs> it told us to destroy. <laughs> it told us and then destroy. pulled out a blood of Pat Sharp. <laughs> destroy. destroy. Here is the blood of Pat Sharp. Fuck that up. Destroy it like I did. Pat the Sharp. mortal Pat Sharp. <laughs> we, we ran straight for the angered baboon, but couldn't get it opened. <laughs> <laughs> the figure came closer and we could hear it breathing sheepishly 
<laughs> like it was mild bewilderment and wanted to, <laughs> and wanted to erect us. Oh, God, that's grim. Say that again. We ran straight for the angered baboon but couldn't get it open. The figure came closer and we could hear it breathing sheepishly like it was wild be- bewilderment and wanted to erect us. We ran for the staircase when my Billy Bob broth brain brother tripped on a hand covered in what's it does. <laughs> Then my blind man's butt plug fell out. I'll repeat that. That's what I was waiting for. We ran for the staircase with my Billy Bob broth brain brother tripped on a hand covered in what's it dust. And then my blind man's butt plug fell out. Once we reached the bottom, it was so cheese we could we couldn't see a thing. That's when the music got louder. I was so crumpled that I wasn't sure whether to float or slash. We saw a window in the spider-infested game room. Has anyone ever read a Clockwork Orange? It's starting to sound like Clockwork Orange now. We saw a window in the spider-infested game room and climbed out onto the deck and jumped down onto a bed of goblins. (laughs) Oh, break your landing, wouldn't it? (laughs) We ran home and never looked sideways. (laughs) One thing isn't for sure. We will always go back to that house again. (laughs) We must always go back. We should always go back. It's fucking what? The end of that was fucking genius. That was fucking wonderful. Oh, <laughs> so there we go. Brilliant. It was so cheese, I couldn't see. Oh my god, Jesus! So much cheese. Have you ever cheesed out before? I hate so it when you cheese. lose your blind man's butt plug. I once sneezed and lost my blind like man's butt yeah, plug. I like the, uh, yeah, tripped on a hand covered in, wa- <laughs> in what's it dust, and then my blind man's butt plug fell out. No. That, so that I think that is one of the best lines that ever come. Yeah, up that back. is um, that. <laughs> That's blank. Ooh, excuse me. Blank-o-matic. That's blankomatic. Uh, so, and, that, and that is the end of the episode twenty-one. Yeah, got twenty-one. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you are still with us during this time, uh, please give us a little rate on five-star rating on whatever uh, thing you're um, listening on, because it really helps us get more listeners. Please tell your friends and people that you know about this podcast. And if you've got any facts or anything you'd like to send us, please send it into sin and gin podcast at gmail.com. I have a hot head. I've got a hot head. Five star reviews. I've got a people. hot head, Joe. I've got uh, just, it's just hot. Just a hot head. I have no idea. I'm thinking. Yeah. So thank you, guys. Yeah, this is Sin and Gin Podcast. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much, man. Cheers, guys. Love you. Love you. I've got Papa Babaloo.